The BBC has learnt that the pilot of the plane, which crashed in the English Channel three years ago, killing the footballer Emiliano Sala, was concerned about the state of the aircraft. In a conversation with a friend shortly before the flight, David Ibbotson talked about several faults and described the plane as dodgy. Katie Thomas reports. This is the last time Emiliano Sala and David Ibbotson were seen alive. For the first time, we can show you CCTV footage from January the 21st, 2019, as the footballer and pilot go through airport security. These were final checks before the striker flew from Nantes to Wales to become a Premier League player at Cardiff City. Earlier, David Ibbotson is seen on the runway, preparing the plane ahead of the flight. Everything was going to plan, and he sent this video to a pilot friend. But in a phone call to the same friend, the recording of which has been obtained by the BBC, David Ibbotson raised concerns about the plane. I picked a football up from uh, Cardiff. Uh, he should have been brought from Nantes. I think it was about £20 million pounds worth of something. They've entrusted me to uh, pick him up in a dodgy marriage. Normally I have a life jacket sitting between my seats, but tomorrow we were wearing the life jacket, that's for sure. This aircraft, I think it's got to go back in the hangar. Might be your last chance to have a good old chat with me in a good old boat tomorrow. <laughs> Normally I have a life jacket sitting that's between seats. Quite a bombshell of a tape to actually hear it in David Ibbotson's own words and to hear that he was concerned about the flight 24 hours earlier. Uh, I, I'd consider that absolutely explosive, frankly. David Ibbotson should never have taken the job to fly Emiliano Sala as he wasn't a commercial pilot and couldn't legally fly at night. His concerns about the plane were echoed by his passenger. Emiliano sent this last voice message to his friends from inside the plane. Estoy acá arriba del avión que parece que se está poca de a pedazo y me estoy yendo para Cardiff, loco que no sé si van a mandar a alguien a buscarme porque no me van a encontrar, pero ya saben. Papá, qué miedo que tengo. The aircraft starts taxiing towards runway 3. It's scheduled to land in Cardiff just 2 hours later. It never arrived. the depths of the English Channel, the plane's final resting place. As investigations and court proceedings continue, and as two families mourn the loss of loved ones, we now have more insight into what happened in the hours before that fateful flight. Kayleigh Thomas, BBC News in Cardiff.